And corporate Kenya lost a combined 5.5 billion shillings from economic crimes in the last 24 months. According to the survey by a consultancy firm, PwC, cases of bribery and procurement fraud have gone up significantly, with at least one-third of the 102 surveyed firms reporting losses in excess of, get this, 10 million shillings in the period. Let's get more from our very own Faisal Ahmed. According to a survey carried out between 2018 and 2020 by audit firm PwC, 36% of Kenyan firms that experienced economic crimes lost over 10 million shillings, with 2% reporting losses of in excess of half a billion shillings. Reality is, we, we, we have uh, seen uh, a lot of reports on uh, economic crimes, suspect, suspected economic crimes, and the impact it is having on uh, organizations and also the society at large. But of course, uh, our survey is based on real data, real experience, and our clients sharing insights in a secure platform that they can trust and knowing that we will feed back to them with relevant insights and advisories for them to, to, to take into account. The report singles out at least six costliest crimes in corporate Kenya, including procurement fraud at 15%, bribery and corruption at 14%, accounting financial statement fraud at 14%, asset misappropriation at 12%, customer fraud at 12%, and finally money laundering and sanctions at 12%. The report, however, highlights and lauds government's efforts in fighting against corruption with high-profile arrests being made by the DCI on numerous graft cases being brought to the courts. An increase in the resources that are being availed to various institutions to fight economic crime, for example, the, the allocation to the Auditor General's office, their location to the DCI, their location to the DPP office, we have actually seen an increase. We have seen a location uh, to the financial reporting center also going up. So we, we, we basically are supportive of those initiatives, but the challenge on those institutions is to ensure that there is full alignment. The report further says that most of the fraud and crime were committed by internal operators at 36%, external perpetrators at 27%, while 32% of those were due to collusions between internal and external players. Across the continent, bribery and corruption stood at 17% in the period during the survey, while accounting and financial statement-related crimes stood at 15%. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.